this fucking song. Okay, Ricky, Haywood likes the hard stuff out over the plate, so bust him in and don't get up with anything. You listening to me, Rick? Yeah. Okay, you're my man. Go get him, kid. This guy's the out you've been waiting your whole life for. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel, The Law and the Promise, where we talk about the principles of our mind, the law, and how principle is a promise. Now, so, of course, it's truth, it's principle, that's just how it is. So, you know, we uh, do a lot of discussing about this at Patreon, and the patrons asked a question, and it was a really good question. I'm just going to read it out loud to you because I'm sure a lot of people wonder about this, you know, and in light of recent current events, I think it's a really great topic and it's the topic of confidence and the difference between being confident and then coming off as arrogant and the, you know, the question was, how do you look at people like uh, Trump or Kanye West and see that, you know, they're not being arrogant or they're, you know, even being narcissistic and not, you know, confident. And this is what the deal is. It's, it's how are you looking at it? It's just somebody with confidence. <laughs> okay, that's all. They're confident in what they believe. They're confident in what they're saying and doing as being truth. Okay, it's coming from the heart right off out of their mouths. And you can see from what comes out of their mouths, if you listen carefully, you know, and take your emotion out of it, don't be personal. It's impersonal you know, and take a look at it. So one of the things that, you know, people don't understand is there are many ways that we do this naturally and every one of them is in the Bible. And one of them is affirmations and it's robotic affirmations. You've had enough. You're about to see your child die, you know, and you're just sitting there going, thank you for giving me life. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for giving my son. And you're just robotically saying it, you know, and you're like, I like to say, you know, you smoked one and you're gelling or you're chilling, you know, and that kind of, you're, you're just gelling and chilling and you're repeating this over and over again. It's robotic. There's no emotion to it. Okay. You're just there. And that's something that works, you know, that kind of affirmation. There's all kinds of affirmations, but people will say these things, you know, after hearing it, and then they laugh about it. And that's adding weight to it, you know, and now you got to make it dissipate by saying nobody would ever do that, you know, but by acknowledging that in stating that you wish they hadn't, you know, missed, well, you can see which side of the fence they are, they're on. That's what's driving people crazy. Okay. <laughs> because some sincerely believe, you know, that he's overconfident and he's going to take us somewhere where he never took us. 
He never did any of the things they accuse him of, and they refuse to look at it. Okay, they're off in their hysteria. Okay, okay, go be hysterical. I don't care. You're living it. Don't you know stress kills? That's okay. We're in the mind of God. And if you're supposed to hang out with us, then you'll change your tune. And if you're not supposed to hang out with us, you'll go away. <laughs> That's just how it is. Okay, and opposites attract because that's what creates the whole okay so if the husband's out in the world he's out there with the assholes you have to make sure that you are pumping him up he's the best he's the best everybody looks at him and says wow you know is kanye getting that i don't think so no you look at someone like Kanye, and you can see he's going through a spiritual fight, a struggle. But he's wrapped it around his ego. And that's why he says he's yay. You know, and so then you listen to what's coming out of Donald Trump's mouth, and he's playing the politician, and he's running for office. You know, and he's already had a very successful four-year term, Lots of peace treaties, lots of peace in the world. You know, things were moving, things were changing, and boom. So, you know, COVID hit. And so they just want to point to the results and not say COVID in his record. You know, there's no, no, it doesn't matter. He had the worst. He was the worst. <laughs> they wouldn't dare say that about Wilson. You know, so come on, man. Give me a break. So it's like you have to sit back and listen without any emotion, not caring one way or another. It doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't. The ones who keep yelling that Donald Trump are a threat to democracy are the threat to democracy because they would rather kill democracy then see someone they dislike, Donald Trump, use it at all, whether it's for the good or the bad. They don't care. He can't have it. This is that old, you know, battle. I'm going to kill you. You're not circumcised. I'm going to kill you. You are circumcised. You have a white face on the right. I have a white face on the left. We have to die. Yeah. No, it's about you're coming together and making a whole. Okay. And it's okay to die. That's how you become a whole. Okay. You die to being a caterpillar. And now you come out of the chrysalis, a butterfly. You die to being the duckling, the ugly duckling. You see, you're a swan. You still love the ducks, but you're a swan. And so you go live with the swans now. It's that story, the ugly duckling. You know? Hans Christian Anderson was an enlightened individual. His work was wonderful. You know, so it's understanding these things. Okay, that your word will come to life. That God is the word. When you speak the word, you've made a form and he filled it up. Okay, and it's the love that binds it together and brings it to the forefront. Your attention. What kind of attention are you giving? Are you raining on it, helping it grow, thinking about it, giving it some light, gentle rains, thinking about it for five minutes, a few times a day, once a day, every afternoon, you're going to rain on it, you know? And it, it's whatever you need so that he can say, Hit da -da, and you say, oh, glory to God. God did this for me. I don't give a damn what the man says. God will give it to me. And then I'll give it to the man. That's fine. I don't care what he wants. He can have whatever he wants. You know, God will give it to me. And the man will just get pissed off because he can't put me down. 
You can't put a good man down. Cream rises to the top. It's just the way it is. You know? It's that way in everything. The man gets to be aware of it. His thoughts, his thinking. A mustard seed doesn't. A mustard seed is just, I'm a mustard. I'm going to be a mustard. Um, ooh, ah, I'm a mustard. I'm a mustard. I'm a mustard. I'm a mustard. Ooh, yeah. I'm the best mustard plant ever. <laughs> you're, you're a man. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best there ever was. I'm the best man ever. Yeah. <laughs> we sing. We dance. That's what we do. Okay? We make drum beats that go with our heart and strings. To call out the name. Um, you know, the ABCs. It's really wonderful that you get to do all this stuff, you know? But when you are calling on God and you want to make sure you're looking the right way at things, okay, you have to understand that it's just confidence. Now, who sees it as being arrogant? Who sees it as not having any confidence versus having confidence? just faith confidence is faith have confidence have faith no god's on your side it's going to be fine everything's great you know it doesn't matter what side of the coin you have to play he'll take care of you okay and you just do your best. Okay. And the word comes to life, which means you're always speaking truth. You can't lie. You can't lie. It's not possible. Okay. It's not possible. So things are coming out of your mouth. You know, I'm sticking to it. That's God's story. And I'm sticking to it. That's what it is. I don't care. This man's trying to interfere. Father, help me. He's the enemy. Okay? He's the disease. He's the one who would have you be afraid, scared, so he can control you. Okay? And it's not malicious. It's with good intention. He just doesn't know any better. So you treat him like the creature that he is. Okay, and you take charge. I tell you, you don't tell me. Okay, you will sit. You will obey. You will walk when I tell you to walk. This is you taking control of the life that you're giving. Because that's what you do. You give life. That's your purpose. What are you giving life to? Okay. And understand you're divinely compensated in wonderful ways for giving life. That's what you do. That when you're thinking, you're rippling in the stream of life, in the essence. So you don't. You sit, you listen, and then you decide. And it's just one decision. So I hope this helps. Blessings to you. And thank you. Thank you for being you. Questions, comments, all that good stuff, put it down below. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good one. Blessings to you. He would set up the plate. Vaughn from the windup. <laughs> Swung on a miss. Tucker was moving, wasn't it? If it hit you, leave a two-foot hole coming out. Okay, what should we call now? Let's see what the kid feels about the old number one. Wild thing delivers. Five, two, one.
Get about the curveball, Ricky. Give him a heater. Well, shit. All these pitches to choose from. Maybe we ought to try something different this time. Sure. Come on, hold me tight. 